Hi everyone, and welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, I, I want to teach you how to use a stepper in iOS 10 with Swift 3. So, basically, what we have here, see if you can see that. So, basically, what we have here is the stepper tutorial. And we basically see here that there's a zero and a plus. You can, and it cannot be negative, which is the awesome thing about it. So basically, it was based off of my math test tutorial. So if you're ever watching my math test video, you and you're kind of confused about the steppers, just come, come see this tutorial. So let's open up Xcode. And I'm going to create a new Xcode project. And it's going to be single app view application. I'm going to call it stepper tutorial. Save it on the desktop. And then the storyboard is not that complicated. We All we have here is a label, which we will drag in. Set the text to 0, 0.0. And then we have a stepper. Which is in line with the 0, 0.0, and then we have we add the constraints for both of these. Now the only th now what we can do is we're gonna go to viewcontroller.swift. Now this is a little bit different. Well, defining the label is not different. That's gonna be a UI label. Then the next thing. It depends. We're gonna say if the label is not correct, we're just gonna say label dot text equals 0, 0.0. And then we're also gonna define a variable. And it's gonna equal a double. So then the next part is defining the stepper IB action. And this is different. Instead of sender any object, we're gonna do something different. So delete that. We're gonna do stepper. And it's gonna be UI stepper. So basically we have a variable stepper for our IB action. Now we're going to say stepper value dot equals stepper dot value. And then we're going to say label dot text equals backslash stepper. So there we go. Now, whenever the stepper, we have to go back to the main asteroid board and we're going to link everything up. Let's link that up. And the thing is different. Instead of doing touch up inside like we usually do for buttons, this is not a button. This is two buttons together. We're going to do value changed. And select stepper. So every time the value is changed, it's going to run the IB action. And as usual, the stepper is just going to be the stepper. So let's run this, see how it goes. Yes, I will, I will scale that to another size. Back, that's forfeit. So here we have it. Let's tap plus. 1.0, 2.0, 3.0. So basically, if we have it to zero, then guess what? We can't put the, press the minus button anymore at all, as we see. It's unhighlighted, but once we do that, it's highlighted. So that, in other words, this thing can't be negative, which is, as I said before, a good thing. And I only want to teach this tutorial because 
I thought about my math test. And when we had our math test, a little app that we that we learned in two parts. Let's see. Once it loads, there we go. It's the math test. And we see if we click the option space, we, we have three steppers here. And we have to learn how to use them. And if it was a little bit confusing, I, I did have some Objective C tutorials on uh, on steppers, but those are Objective C in Xcode 6. That's outdated. This is Xcode 8. This game is fun. So 42 times 4, 168. So you see, steppers are very useful, especially in iOS development, because when you're ever trying to change a value, you're going to need the steppers because the values could be any, because you want to change the values. So let's say you want to make something like um, a game. Maybe you like something, something like uh, something like if you know Clash of Clans, you have to destroy other people's territory. Uh, you want to deploy troops and you have to add them. I'm prob you're probably going to need steppers for that if you're going to like maximize the amount of troops that you want to add in, but they just use a different texture than what we do because re regular steppers look boring. Uh, nope, I'm gonna run out of time. Dang it. 27 plus 31. That is 58. Nope. 45 minus 19. Screw it. <laughs> Our time's up. Uh, 87. I got this. 30 plus 41. Uh, I'm gonna get this problem wrong. It's 140. Let's see if we can get the debt up. Debt up. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Of course, it's not on the math test. Get away, math test. But it's related to math test. As when I was making the math test video, I used steppers. And so basically, I want to teach the steppers how to use steppers. I hope this loads quick. So if we go back to stepper tutorial, that's basically how it works. So, anyway guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe, hit the like button video below. I will post the source code below in, in, as a link. So, bye!